that's uh, potentially going to win me about 600 bucks. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day three. Day three. Today's Tuesday, so we got Wednesday, Thursday, today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days before tournament time. I got four spots that I marked yesterday. Today, we're just going to do a little bit more exploring. Uh, hopefully, run into a couple more spots where there's potentially that two plus pounder. Those two pounders are going to be key to winning back some of this gas money. Also, I did want to talk about kind of uh, a pre-spawn post pre-spawn to spawn setup for those of you that live in areas where you have bigger reservoir systems um, so i'm going to walk through that today on the water some rod setups that i like to use and some jigging tactics or uh, some other tactics that i like to use too so we're going to talk about that today but uh, first let's get on the water Okay, I didn't even run that far. I'm just right in the marina where I launched and there are some fish. But the typical, I guess, pre-spawn into spawning setup that I wanted to talk about today are these longer rods. Especially if you live in an area where you got a reservoir system, there's a lot of timber in it, a lot of laydowns, flooded, you know, stuff gets flooded in the springtime and pushes these laydowns in here. Um, the lineup that ACC has 10, 11, 12, and now the brand new 13 foot, which I'm hoping to get my hands on uh, Saturday at the tournament. I'm hoping Andy has one for me, um, but this is by far my favorite right now. This is the 12 foot hybrid grip. It's not quite a rear seat, but it's got a little bit, a little bit better balance. Uh, this is a 1000 size reel. Typically you want to use a 2000 size reel. Uh, the balance point right now is about here. For the 2000 size, it's pretty much right there. Um, I think this weighs 5.9 ounces. Yeah, less than six ounces. I'm gonna talk about my 11 and, and 10 foots here in a second. Got him. There we go. He's gonna be a keeper. Oh, he's a fighter too. He's a black crappie, I bet. Look at this guy fighting. Oh, wow, he's a white crappie. That guy was fighting like mad. But I think he's gonna be a 10 inch keeper. Yep. 10 and a half, he's going in the box. Gonna bring some of these fish back home. Basically anything that's not gonna win me the tournament, I'm gonna throw in the box up to my limit of 15, but let's talk about, ooh, let's talk about this setup real quick. Pre-spawn on a lot of these reservoir systems, the typical setup you'll use, or you'll see a lot of guys using who have live scope. And even if you don't, if you're fishing stumps or brush piles, Longer rods like this 12 footer, and then prop, most likely a double jig setup. Right now I got uh, two eighth ounce. These are ACC crappie six jigs. Yeah, they make jigs now. And then these are Pete's Tackle Thor's Hammer plastics. Um, this is a typical setup you use for that pre-spawn fishing this deeper stuff. I'm in about 18 feet of water right now. I guess the main reason a lot of guys use it, it's a vertical, vertical I mean, this is pure vertical jigging calm day like this you want to get that bait as far away from the boat as you can so you're not spooking the fish um, and these longer rods help you do that typically you don't see these up north so if you're up north there's a i'm going to do a different video on stuff i use pre-spawn up north but um, this is rod number one rod number two the 10 foot now this is the 10 foot mid seat and uh, probably the my favorite of this model is actually the 10 foot rear seat, which I actually broke. Uh, I stepped on it, but uh, by far my favorite model. You never used a long rod before for this type of vertical jigging. Um, I'd recommend the 10 foot. 10 foot's very manageable. Um, the 12 foot might 
seem a little a little much for people that have never used a long rod before. That 10 foot, it's awesome. Strength, sensitivity, great combo, and it's super lightweight. I mean, I think this weighs, I want to say this weighs less than four ounces. Typically when I travel anywhere out of the ice belt, I'm using braided line uh, for my setups. This water, it's dirtier. I mean, visibility is probably less than a foot, a uh, foot and a half at most. So I, I consider that dirty. Most of the waters I fish up north, visibility is somewhere between five to six feet, if not more. Um, some of our lakes are up to 20 feet deep, so I'm not using braid. But uh, 10 foot, highly recommend if you're brand new into this pre-spawn or just vertical jigging. I mean, pre-spawn, post-spawn, summertime fishing, it kind of is all the same when these crappie get between eight to 20 feet of water. Um, the only other tactics that kind of change is when they get less than eight feet of water, odds are pretty good you're doing some casting. Um, you can still do long rod fishing. Probably not the best choice because in that skinny water, your boat's gonna scare them. So this is like eight to 20 feet of water. Love using this type of stuff. The other one for a great option. Some people really like the 11 foot. This is the 11 foot. This is the original. Uh, I don't have a reel on this one. This is the 11 foot cork handle. They do have these super grips now. You can see ACC Crappie Sticks logo on all of them. I think they still have the cork handles too. So if that's something you are interested in, you can get those. Um, but the 11 foot, a lot of people think it's a, a great combo between the 10 and 12 as far as weight goes. You know, I'm so used to the 12 foots and I actually started vertically jigging with the 16 footers when I was in Mississippi last year. Uh, because the fish were so skittish trying to get that jig away from the boat um, you'd actually have to flip it out there with a 16 foot or you resorted to a seven and a half foot and you're actually just casting the jig out but a lot of people think that this 11 footer is that perfect happy medium between what acc offers is that 10 to 12 foot range in terms of weight uh, but you got to try it out for yourself you know this is the mid seat again they both all these rods come in a mid seat or some sort of rear seat or a hybrid rear seat um, I highly recommend just trying one out. Personally, if you're brand new, I'd go 10 footer. Um, if you're somebody who's used long rods before, 12 foot or the brand new 13 foot because this hybrid rear seat, great balance. I mean, great balance. Right now with a 1000 size reel, the balance is right about, right about here somewhere. With a 2000 size reel, it's, it's right about here, pretty much where you hold it. Yeah, so that is the ACC Crappie Stick lineup for vertically jigging with these long rods. Um, highly recommend you try them out. We're gonna go try to catch some more fish here, find some more spots, and hopefully run into a two-pounder. There's a good one. Wow, these are biggins. Holy smokes. Yeah. I'm not gonna, this is gonna be my last one fishing here. This is a monster. Jesus. Oh, you hooked my pants. No. Nope. And I lost my rod. Oh, what a cluster. These are monsters. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that brush pile alone. Cause there was like 10 of them exactly this size, if not bigger down there. Come on, dude. I do want to see what this guy weighs though. Got a hook in my pants. Where's my scale? Awesome fish. Awesome fish. One, oh. Oh my goodness. Half, half an ounce shy of two pounds. That's a half ounce shy of two pounder. My goodness. See you, buddy. All right, gonna leave that brush file alone. He put a hole through my shorts. Dang. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that one alone for now because there's some monsters, absolute monsters. And uh, I've been told on this lake that the crappie actually stay a little deep when they're pulling some current and they've been pulling some current. So that's why we're still finding them in uh, 15 to 20 feet of water. 
my hope is they stay there till Saturday. Saturday we're supposed to, actually Thursday and Friday we're supposed to get a front come through. So I don't know what that's gonna do to them, but I know there's some big ones in here. That was a monster. That was an absolute monster. Half an ounce shy of a two pounder. It was one pound 15 ounces and 15 and four eighths is what the scale said. Yeah, there's some big ones in here. I'm optimistic of this tournament. Hopefully they still bite come Saturday. Just checking on one more brush pile. I think there's some big ones on this one too. There he is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's another tank. It is another tank. Check out this beast. <laughs> I think we found our honey hole for the tournament. I think we found it. Man, I hope they're still here on Saturday. That is a nice, that's a nice crappie. I don't think he's a two pounder. I'm gonna guess he's a pound and three quarter. Pound and a half to pound and three quarter, which might win if I time it right. Problem is it's a 20 minute boat ride there, 20 minute boat ride back, which only gives me about 20 minutes to fish per hour. Potentially I could win multiple hours catching fish like this see what this guy is. I don't think he's a two pounder. One pound, 10 ounces. Yep, locked in. One pound, 10 ounce. See, buddy. Let's go back to the depths. Bye. Yep, there's spot number two. Lock that in. That's gonna wrap it up for today couple pound I think this guy was just shot a pound and a quarter that was a little over a pound but some really nice fish here on Watts Bar Lake caught one that was just shy of like it was half ounce shy of two pounds and put these guys back in the live well but uh, yeah I think we're gonna have a good tournament uh, pending this weather that's coming in on Friday I believe so hopefully it's not too bad hopefully it's just a little bit of rain nothing major if it's a huge thunderstorm I don't know what that's gonna to do to the fish and I don't know how high the water levels are gonna rise because this is a river system. Um, and they're trying to raise, I think April 15th is when they wanna raise it to summer pool. So they're still raising the water levels. Um, yeah, hopefully these fish stay here and uh, we can put some, put some big fish on the board. So appreciate you watching as always. Uh, be sure to check out ACC Crappie Sticks, the long rod, the jigging rod lineup, uh, 10, 11, 12, and 13 footers. I'll leave a link in the video description. And uh, if you got any questions on setups, let me know in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always love hearing from you. Even if the questions aren't about rods, maybe they're about fish finders, lures, whatever, feel free to message me on Facebook and Instagram. Appreciate you watching as always. I'm gonna get off the water. We'll see you.